warning, stealing is wrong. But I'm Robin Hood. I steal from the rich and give to the needy. And I need to get into this game. Matty Watson here once again in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, just outside Scotiabank Arena. Leaves to play in Philly tonight. I don't have a ticket. Let's see if we can sneak in. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? On my last video about sneaking into this venue, one of my comments read that a staff member nearly got fired for my shenanigans despite it being all anecdotal and clearly labeled a reenactment. Great leaders don't blame their lowest paid staff for flaws in the system they created. They take responsibility themselves. As this sneak in is for realsies, staff faces will be blurred to protect them from their soft superiors. Tonight's game against Philly is at 7 p.m. with the gates opening an hour before puck drop. So I'm here at 5.30 with a plan. Last time I was here, I was checking out the uh, wrap slash leaf store and noticed that while well, they're waiting to open the doors, everybody's allowed to go in the store from this side. Once they open the doors and start letting people in, they close off this entrance, open from the other side. I'm sort of hoping I can get a Home Alone 2 situation and be in there for the changeover. Oh no. That was my access point. Let's do a lap. In the end, it's probably not the best idea to be taking inspiration from the Sticky Bandits. I do a walk around and notice a side door opening for a couple guys in fluorescent vests. I consider stopping the door before it closes over, but decide it's too risky without seeing what's on the other side. We might have swung and missed right then and there. Not far around the corner, there's a glass door that looks like it's not closed over. Is anybody watching me? No. So as Martin Lawrence taught me in Blue Streak, I check to see if it's open. No, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. They would never do it. So close. This one? Oh, that was such a tease. My heart skipped a beat there. I find another small entrance and take a closer look to see if it's guarded. Oh, there's a guy right there. I haven't gone up here. Let's see what's what. Overlooking this main entrance, there are two scanners servicing each side of the line, making it tricky to sneak in with a random group as I did last time. Tricky, but not impossible. However, in this upper entrance, scanners are not pressed right to the door they're guarding, with nothing more than a ribbon between me and them. This has potential. I give it a couple minutes, and the amount of scanned-in fans waiting to go through security starts to build. The security guard on the inside is focused on the fans going through the metal detector, and the scanners are facing down the line. My window's opening. I'm about to make my move when this guy walks past. There's a lot more security floating around in this rink. It makes Ottawa's look like child's play. The size of the guys in line are now completely blocking the view from the scanners. It's pretty much a layup. I stick tap for all of the fans around me for not saying a thing, with this guy getting the first assist. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna just pull this off. Good. Thanks, buddy. Holy I just did it again. Get out of here, Maddie. Get out of there. You just did it again. You just did it again. I love heading down for warm up to see the boys having fun. In this case, I got to see them fire pucks off the glass at a baby, making the photographer's job difficult and fans being all around goofy. I watched the Leafs go down early from the rafters, but luckily, all Matthews are scoring tonight, and watch my boy get a natural hattie in the second. Leafs' current goal song apparently is Animal, and let me tell you, every time Austin Matthews scores, it's highly appropriate. We blow it in typical Leafs fashion, but Willie would bail us out for the win in OT. Will it OT! I checked what it would have costed to attend this game from where I was standing, knowing nobody involved in this organization is going to miss my $112 ticket. However, some people in this city could truly benefit. So I took advantage of a sale at Walmart on Dufferin and somehow managed to buy exactly 112 bucks worth of 40 money. pairs of socks, 56 granola bars, and 21 little three-pack protein packages. And I'm gonna go dish them out and hopefully we can go make some people's day. Got some protein snacks here. You want some socks? Yes.
No problem. I got a granola bar in here for you too. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, my pleasure. You too, buddy. I'll take one pair. White or black? White. Are you okay with this? Sure. I got some couple granola bars. Sure. Done. Sweet service, eh? Do you like some socks? Some protein? Is that okay? Take care, all right? If somebody's in there, I don't want to scare you. I just want to leave some socks for you and a little bit of food. Hey, buddy. Do you want some socks? Sure. I love those PJs. I'm from yeah. Ottawa. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Two pairs? Yeah, I just have a black one. Of course you can. You're the first one that's asked for some. I'm glad I got them now. Well, here you go. You got a matching set now. Thank you. Thank here. you very much. Hang on. I got a little food for you, too, if you want it. Protein oh. snack. Yeah. A couple granola bars. Wow. Get you started for the day, eh? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So he shoots, he scores, right? Yes. <laughs> all right. You have a great day, all right? You. Take care. Take care Already has. Just want a couple pairs of socks, buddy? Sure, Protein? One, two for you. Of course. How about one of these two? Are you hungry? Want some of these? Some protein yeah. snack? Thank you. And I got granola bars, too. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. A pair of socks or two? White, black? Done. Here, I'll give you two pairs. Keep those. Try to keep those feet warm. What time is it? What time is it? Right, right now, uh, almost nine. Hey, hey, buddy. Nice coat. Would you like a couple pairs of socks? Sure. Done. You got a nice setup here. Maybe granola bar. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Have a great day. Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. <laughs> Done. Thank you. Couple pairs or? I got granola bars in uh, in my bag. Would you like? Of course. Uh, white or black? Black. Done. Two pairs? Two pairs. That's all you? Well, of course. A couple? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Of course. As a nomadic traveler living on a shoestring budget, I see a lot of people in tough spots, which reminds me of just how gosh darn lucky I truly am. I got a couple pairs of socks and some uh, cheese and meat if anybody's hungry or would like some. Yeah. Want one each? Oh good, because I can put a pair on. That's what I was hoping. I got some meat and cheese if anybody's hungry. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Do you have any more of them? Um, I do, uh, yes. I'll tell you what, I'll give you one more. I want to make sure I have some for that gentleman over there. Some for you. Tell you what, a couple more granola bars for you. No problem, guys. Here you go, buddy. No, no problem, man. I've always wanted to find a way to help, but in my own way. And I believe I finally found it. Pair of socks? Sure. White or black? Ah, uh, white, please. No. Done. Hey, for a fellow Leaf fan, not a problem. <laughs> yeah, that dude's harder than a pistol. Come on. Please don't forget to...